came from little but has given much to his adopted country. Australia's Westfield Group has got the go-ahead. Construction is expected to begin immediately. Westfield has opened the largest shopping centre in Europe. Few Australians have a story as remarkable as our guest today. Companion in the Order of Australia. Chairman of the Australian Football Federation. Former Director of the Reserve Bank. The wise and generous Frank Lowy. I think the first 10 years of my arrival to Australia was uh, very significant. From 52 to 62, I got married. I had three children. And of course, uh, I have become a joint managing director of the then Nano Westfield Development Corporation. From 62, Westfield has grown in Australia so much that we have decided mid 70s we moved to America. The business grew in America that it became bigger than Australia. Next, John Saunders has retired, then I became the major shareholder and the chairman also. And then we moved to the United Kingdom. And of course, uh, the big development in the United Kingdom, the Westfield London, and then followed by Westfield Stratford. This is a very proud day for Westfield, but even more momentous day for East London. People in London now say that they don't say they go shopping, they say they go to Westfield. The basis for that was built in Australia with uh, Bondi Junction, which was a major departure from the shopping centers than before. The latest of these new iconic malls, the Westfield Sydney now. And I think that these iconic malls are serving a much larger community at the same time, and they have a big footprint on the, on the cities themselves. I'm very proud of each one and lots in between. So it's difficult to pick just one development that would be the most significant. We are looking to develop uh, further iconic malls. The next will be in Italy, in Milan. And I like to be involved in communal affairs. Of course, football is a passion since I was a little boy. I joined the ranks of football leadership, becoming the chairman, and I've enjoyed it very much because it's a very important activity for Australia, and uh, we have made very good progress there. Well, the Reserve Bank, I was very honored to be, to be asked, and I served there for 10 years. I learned a lot there, and I hope I maybe imparted some of my knowledge also. I wanted Australia to have a more of an influence around the world. And I think the Lowy Institute did that. I'm very proud and pleased that I've been able to establish it and being so successful at it. Frank's path was indescribably hard. Coming to Australia to begin the longest and greatest chapter of his incredible life. Frank, you are indeed an extraordinary Australian and your family's life tells us a great Australian story. The most important thing for me is my family. An achievement of the family, that's what I'm most proud of. I still want to achieve things. I still want to be involved, and I still want to contribute. And this business of sitting on your laurel, well, what do you do? What is it that you do sitting on your laurels? It's not me.